Hello and welcome to The Watches TV. Let's continue our saga about calendar watches by focusing on the basic indication. And the first and most common one is of course the date, which is in other words the number of days in the month. You can find it by default on many watches in addition to the necessary hours, minutes and sometimes seconds. Then you can have also the weekday, Monday, Tuesday, the month and finally the moon phase. A watch that has all of them is considered as a complete calendar. There are two ways to display these indications, by using hands or by using windows. The goal with the latter is to provide better legibility. Consequently, the more indications there are on the dial, the more watchmakers try to combine both kinds of display in order to avoid graphic confusion. There is even a special kind of vintage date hand with a wavy shape called the serpent hand, as it looks like a little snake. It was used to display calendar indication in opposition to the straight hand used exclusively for the display of time. Of course, this was never a strict rule and contemporary watchmakers sometimes use serpentine hands to display time. Purists might argue that they should instead utilize very ornamental Renaissance hands, but these are much more expensive to manufacture. Brands such as Girard Perigot, A. Lang & Zöne and Audemars Piguet developed so-called big dates because these have bigger numbers visible through windows. In the case of big dates, the single and double digit numerals are not printed on one single ring like they are on conventional date system. The date is displayed by the interaction of two discs or one disc and a cross, each printed from 0 to 9, whereby the 0 could also be just as blank with white zone. Positioned just below the diode and powered by a dedicated system, each of these discs move independently to compose each double-digit date. It is somehow bizarre that the moon phase is considered as one of the calendar indications if we take into account the fact that our calendar, the Gregorian calendar, is a solar calendar. And if you want to know more about that, I invite you to watch our first episode of this saga. There are several explanatory reasons. The first one is that the moon strongly influenced life on Earth starting with the tides. Some humans are also sensitive to the phases of the moon, in particular some are more active and energized during full moon periods. But moon phases are mostly appreciated for the decorative touch they lend on a watch dial. And some watchmakers like to design them in very creative ways, even making a signature element out of them like Stepan Serpaneva. Aside from the look, moon phases can also become technical challenges. Usually the moon makes a full rotation in 29.5 days, which just barely corresponds to real time, which is 29 days, 12 hours and 44 minutes or 29.53 days. Consequently, watchmakers worked on developing super precise moon phases. Today the most precise moon phase of all is found in Andreas Strehler's Sauterelle à lune perpétuelle, which must be corrected by a full day only after 2.06 million years. Clothing the moon phase subject, I want also to mention that some brands have developed spherical moon faces in order to make them look like the original Earth satellite, and Debitune in one of the most famous for that. Calendar indications are constantly connected to the movement, contrary to functions that work on demand like the chronograph or the minute repeater. For this reason, they can be sensitive to set. For instance, you should never try to change them when the watch time is between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. As the time indication passes midnight, the mechanism is generally already well into process of switching to the next day, intervening could damage movement parts. Most vintage and even some contemporary calendars can only be set or adjusted forward, which can be quite annoying sometimes. And you must also respect a certain setting order on the perpetual calendar. One of the things that brands are making a real effort to change in such movements today is to secure the mechanism so that setting and adjusting them is possible at all time and in both directions. Regarding setting, it is usually the crown that controls the date, the day and the moon phase. Correctors are necessary when there are additional functions, such as the month, for instance. Correctors are tiny pushes integrated into the case. The wearer needs the stylus to push them. Some brands, however, have worked on practical alternatives, such as the underlog corrector created by Blancpain. The name says it all. They are located under the lugs and can be manipulated using a finger only. Let's finish by saying that usual calendar functions are great additions to a dial for a generally acceptable price. Now, let's see us for the next episode, which is about the annual calendar. See you!